Welcome to episode 23, Harry Trickleboff, 10 Lessons. This is an outline of episode 23. Lesson number one, the wealthier you are, the harder you work. But you have to work hard. Oh, the more money you have, the harder you have to work, that's for sure. <laughs> if you think that by having money you'll work less, <laughs> you soon won't have it. <laughs> Lesson number two, to succeed, there must be a demand. The council, by always disapproving builders to build on vacant land, is actually creating an artificial demand. You get started, you buy this block of land, you're not a builder, you don't have any experience or, or university qualifications or anything like that. Right. Well, the reason I went into it, because I knew that there was a big demand. And believe me, the demand has never changed from the day I started, which is... 50 years ago or something. So that's the main thing, that there's a demand. You have to have demand. Lesson number three, start a dream, start small. This is a picture of the small two-story apartment that Harry Trickleboff built in the suburb of Sydney in 1963. Lesson number four, the next apartment always built slightly better. Looking out that people wanted apartments. Yeah. Um, do they still want the same sort of apartments? How's the demand changed? Oh, no, no. They, they want different apartments. We have to be always abreast of, of progress. So the idea is that every year, every block has to be a little bit better than the block before. Because otherwise what happens, the people who bought before from me will undercut me. Okay. So that is what pushes me to improve all the time. Lesson number five, love what you do, the money will take care of itself. Yeah. I, I think being clever is very good, but you must like what you do. And it's impossible to like everything. So if you find one thing that you like, then stick to it. And until you find that thing, keep looking. Because the main thing is, you have to like what you do, and then the rest will come by itself. Lesson number six, it is okay to fight with your father if you think you have a better idea. To work in a textile factory, he sent me to Leeds. That's where I learned about wool. And I studied there for three years, went with my father. I worked with my father and my brother. I didn't get on with my brother. My brother didn't get on with my father. The father didn't get on with me. A happy family. We loved each other, but we couldn't work. Right? So then the father said, I sent you when you were a kid to Australia. I'm sending you back. Lesson number seven, love your company. He once sold his company for 50 cents and then bought it back for a dollar 20. When I started, it was mine. Yes, that's right. Was that your yeah. intention? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to be by myself. Yep. I, I tried uh, to be a public company. I lasted a few months. That was not my cup of tea. I sold the shares for 50 cents, I bought them back for $1.20. Everybody was happy, no problems. Because I was in love with the company, how can I sell it? Lesson number eight, don't be modest. I wonder, as we look out across different parts of Sydney from where we are, do you feel that you've had a hand in the way the landscape of Sydney has changed? Well, since I'm not a modest person, I say I had a biggest hand in it. Uh, the biggest because, hand? Because I devoted myself to Sydney. I did a little bit in Queensland, but basically I'm Sydney. Lesson number nine, be a revolutionary. Fight dogma. Revolutionary will beat dogma. Just give me a few decades. Lesson number ten, ride your luck. Everyone gets lucky break. Uh, Harry Triggerworth got two lucky breaks. The first lucky break was in 1961 when rent control was abolished. Luck number two was the Chinese invasion, 2013 to 2015. Chinese buyers pushed property price up 50% in three years, making him the richest man in Australia. Thank you for watching. Please leave your comments and questions below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.